Hi, welcome back to the My Nature Apps channel. Today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to do a heads up versus uh, the My Nature Tree app versus the Leaf Snap app, which is a new app that's out in the App Store. It's free. Um, it works off from image recognition. And on their premise, you take a picture of a leaf and that you upload that back to their database and then that sends you back the results. What it doesn't do is send you back the exact tree that you're looking at. So there's a little misconception that people think image recognition, it's going to tell you exactly what you're looking at. It doesn't. It's going to send you back a list. Um, the shortest list I ever got was 10, trees, uh, 10 species uh, to whittle through. And the longest list I got had 48. And what was weird about that was I was taking a picture of needles and it was sending me back um, results for broadleaf trees. Now, the way one of the downfalls to this app is that it relies on a wireless signal. So not good in a field guide right off the bat. Um, another thing that I think is a very big no-no is that you have to pick a leaf or a needle off from the tree, put it on a white background, that's why I have this sheet of paper here, and take a picture of it. Now if you could picture a tree in Central Park or an arboretum, a popular arboretum or a popular trail, um, how about the high peaks in the Adirondacks, a, a tree right in the, right in the parking lot, um, a place that gets heavy use, you'd have 20 to 50 people if they had this app picking a leaf off that tree every day uh, you know, for 150, 200 days a year. Just as, as far as a conservation tool, um, not a good thing. That's not a good thing to do. Try that in an arboretum and you, uh, you get your butt kicked out of there. Uh, the My Nature Tree app, you, you, once you download it, you never need a wireless signal again. It'll work uh, in any weather, wherever you are, signal or no signal. You don't even need a signal on it. It's a good little app. So let's get started with this. I know it's not going to work already. I've tried it several times. Um, and I have a, a Wi-Fi connection right now. And I sh if I don't have Wi-Fi, I still should have cellular. But I've got one bar in there, which isn't great for cellular. But this should be running off my Wi-Fi. And I'll, I'll show you that later. Now, what you have to do is center that needle in that little white area. And snap the picture. Now, while that's uploading, we're going to go right here to Trees with Needles. We're going to pick uh, Search by 15 Questions. I just want to show you how quick this one will work. Needles are in. Select your thing. Groups of one, two, or three. Um, question two, needles are in. This one is groups of five. And then we're just going to, I'm going to skip the rest. You can go bark, you can go cone, you can put a lot more information to whittle your thing down. But we're just going to uh, enter in our location as New York. Submit. And that gives us one result. This one, if it comes back, maybe it'll give us one result. I really hope it works. I want it to work. I want you to see the difference in these two apps. My Nature app, My Nature Tree Guide app is going to beat this one uh, completely. Uh, there's our result. Eastern White Pine. You can look at your needle, compare your needle, this needle to that. Um, always read the, uh, there's an illustration. You can read the description on it. That's going to tell you more. Uh, there, you can go right through to the cone, the bark, the profile, a range map. Uh, use a ruler to, to do it. The My Nature Tree Guide is really, it's got a lot of stuff in it, a lot of content. Now, we've got a result back already. Um, recognition error. Server did not respond. Okay. So, we didn't get any response. Now, this is from a different search before. This is not uh, not this search here. If it is this search, then it's pretty sad because they're, they're broadleaf. Uh, this is a mimosa tree. Uh, there's a hemlock. So this is, you know, that didn't work. I could, we could do it again on another one. Um, and let's do it anyways. And then I'll show you the, I want to push this one aside, the My Nature Tree app aside. Right here is a red maple. I'm sorry, this one is a striped maple. Let's push this aside. Let's go back to snap it. I don't know if I can even get this one centered in the thing. Um... Got to get the needle. I don't want to skew the results. Let's move the needle out of there. So this is a very common tree, striped maple. At least here in the northeast. And I did fail to say that I am in the northeast. And I'm going to actually, let's put it this way. Let's turn the paper this way. I don't want it to be off the paper. That looks fairly centered. Snap it. We're going to let that load and see if it gives us a result. And I, I do want it to work. If it doesn't give us the results, I'm going to do another film another day to show you that the My Nature Tree app is going to just beat this one uh, hands down. 
Um, it's a good concept. It just the problem with it is it just doesn't work. You one problem, one major problem is you don't want to rely on a wireless connection for a field guide. You know why would you want to be out in the middle of Yellowstone Park uh, where there is no wireless service and try to use this app? It's not going to do anything for you. You're not going to be able to use it. It's not going to give you any results. It's not going to tell you what tree it is. But once you download uh, the My Nature Tree Guide app, uh, it'll work wherever you are. Okay, that's still loading. So I'm out in the woods. I'm still standing around. I'm still waiting for this to upload uh, if I have a wireless signal to their database to return a result. And we got recognition error again. Server did not respond. Okay. All right, now just to prove that I do have uh, my Wi-Fi working, we're going we're gonna to leave this app, and we're going to go to the App Store. Um, and that is right here. And this is running off the Wi-Fi. You're going to see there's... Let's go to the Featured. We're already on Featured. How about Categories? You can see that's loading. Pretty quick, too. That loaded quick. Back to Featured. There's our Featured Apps. Um, if we wanted to go to Search, that's loading. You can see our Search thing has popped up already. So my Wi-Fi connection here is working. And if it's not my Wi-Fi, it's still my cellular connection. But I know I'm running on Wi-Fi right now. So, so far... If we were going to give this a grade, this gets a a big F from me for Leaf Snap. It's just it doesn't doesn't return any results. Uh, I'm a little biased, obviously. This is my app, but the My Nature Tree app uh, much better than this one. Actually, I have more species in this too. This one has 180 or 160 trees. This one has 200. There's an update coming up out on My Nature uh, the My Nature Tree app shortly. Uh, within the next month, we'll have another 24 to 30 trees added into that plus a new user interface. So I'm going to come back. You're going to see another movie from me, hopefully within the next uh, few days. And it's going to be a heads up again versus. And if I have to go somewhere else to shoot a movie where I have a complete wireless, you know, five bars, I'll do it just to show you. So there you go. Free app versus paid app. Paid app wins big time. Thanks for joining us. Find us on the web, mynatureapps.com. Have a great day in the woods.